My people dug this out of your chest. If it was one inch in any other direction, we wouldn't be talking. I read the files you downloaded from Brokatech. The ones about me. They're all technically true, yeah, but... I feel like they didn't quite give you the full story. This is the Mark I. Simple AI, good for simple things. Uh, the Mark II will be controlled by the thoughts of a human pilot. Military, police, it'll all be transformed overnight. But one day, these will permanently hold the human mind. No more death. No more limitations. We'll be able to live on Mars like it was Maui. And for all this, all I need is that little device stolen by your partner. The one in the stupid mask? I don't know that guy. <laughs> Silence was a better strategy than lying there, Mr. Pierce. Are you done? Look, I don't know that guy. I can find him. I'm good at that. You just have to let me go. I just don't think I can trust you without some kind of... insurance. Perhaps your nephew? Jackson? Hmm? He lives in London, doesn't he? I offered you a good deal. Take it. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I want to believe you. I really do. <laughs> but I just can't. Not yet. No. I'll return once my little helper here has made you a bit more trustworthy. can help you find him. <sighs> You're obviously new at this. You still think torture works. Don't be stupid, Rampart. Let me help you. Stuff 
route patrol protocol. Shit. Robots. Definitely not equipped to fight them. Patrolling. Surveillance systems online. Area is secure. Patrolling. Route patrol protocol. I won't get far without my gear. Better find it. Designed for recon and material recovery. Might come in handy. Oh, thank the fake baby Jesus, it works. So, uh, you didn't mean all that about hunting me down and stuff, right? Very cool. Not even close. You almost killed me. It was a stun bomb. How does one teeny little stun bomb almost kill Aiden fucking Pierce? Piece of that little stun bomb wound up lodged in my chest. Oh, yeah, I know that's not what that's supposed to do. Uh, look, I gotta go, but try to remember that I was the one who saved you from the torture bot, okay? That's worth something, right? Wait, where are you? <laughs> nice try. What is this? Are we recording? Right, continuing the deposition of Mr. Thomas Rampart in the case of Russian Central Bank versus Rampart Automated Defense Systems. I presume you are ready to continue, Mr. Rampart. Actually, and I want this on the record, I just got off the phone with your colleagues in Moscow, and we have reached an understanding. This deposition is no longer necessary. I... You should have told me before we resumed, and no one has contacted me. They will, I can assure you. Come with me, Mr. Rampart. But I... Hey, it was nice to meet you, Mr. Lobakov. My secretary can show you out. Have a safe flight, okay? Okay, bye-bye.
Hello, Executive's office. Hi, this is Francine Vance with the GBB. I was hoping to speak with Mr. Rempard, please. What is this concerning? Is Mr. Rempard in? I ask again, what is this concerning? I was hoping to get a comment on a story about certain meetings between Mr. Rempard and the Prime Minister at the PM summer residence. I will... Direct your message to Mr. Rempart. Thank you. Uh, did Mr. Rempart and the Prime Minister make any arrangements prior to the construction of the latest RADS facility? Thank you. Goodbye. How does this thing work? Uh, Bagley? Call Jackson Pierce. No public listing for Jackson Pierce could be found on the Bloom Network. Pull it from my encrypted files. Voice, print, ID, Lena, and drop a pin at his address. Done. Calling him now. I'm sorry, the Bloom Mobile customer you've tried to reach is unavailable, and their voicemail box is full. Please try again later. Looks like I'm doing this in person.